Hi, welcome to the Hutchinson Art Center's online art camp. My name is Hannah Beam and I'm your instructor. You may have noticed that we are switching it up today. That's because we are talking about artists. The big question today is, who do you know that's an artist? Obviously, you're an artist, so who do you know besides yourself? Do you have people in your family that are artists? Are your friends artists? Maybe there's people in your community that you know that are artists. You might even be able to think of some famous artists, artists that are famous right now or artists that have been famous in the past as part of art history. Today, we're really talking about Michelangelo. He painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, which is why we're under a table. We're gonna be pretending that we're painting on the ceiling. It's a lot safer to paint underneath the table than it is to try to get on a ladder and do all that like he did. But we're gonna practice with painting or really drawing upside down. Today's project is really about experiencing something new and different. And it's more about the process of making the art than making something really cool. So all you need is some paper, some tape, and your media of choice. I'm using markers today because I just really like markers, but you could use crayons or oil pastels or anything else for that matter. Here's the example that I made. I drew a picture of my friend Haley because she is an artist. So if you can't think of something to draw, draw an artist that you know, or draw a famous artist. For the example today, I think I'm gonna draw Frida Kahlo. So I'm gonna start out by getting tape on my paper. Any tape will do. I'll just make a little tape roll by connecting the ends like this and sticking it on the back of the paper. You wanna stick enough so that your paper doesn't fall, but you really don't need too many. Four will be a really good amount. One in each corner. There. Now we have our paper prepped. The other thing that you can prep is getting your colors that you wanna use out before you actually go upside down to start coloring. So I have a good set of markers here that I wanna use for my drawing. I made sure to have lots of options because when I'm upside down, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to look through this bucket to see what colors I'm gonna to wanna to use. So all you have to do is get tape on your paper, get the colors that you wanna use, and then tape your paper to the table. Here we go. Okay, so I'm getting my paper taped up here. Okay, so let's see. Got my markers here. What should I use first? Okay, I'm gonna start with a nice light color. I'm gonna draw Frida Kahlo. So, gotta kinda remember what she looks like. Good thing I've seen lots of pictures of her. She also paints a lot of self-portraits, which also helps me remember what she looks like. So I have to reach all the way up here. Let's see, I'll start out with like a circle for her head and get a neck on. I'll give her some shoulders. Let's see, her facial features. Give her a little bit of a smile because she's kind of, she doesn't seem to smile a whole lot. The nose and some eyes. Oh, and the most distinguishing feature of Frida Kahlo is her eyebrow. She has basically a unibrow, so get that in there. Let's see, I think her hair, I'll put it up in a bun. And she needs some ears. Okay, let's see. I think that looks good as a base, so now I can start coloring. Um, and already I'm kind of noticing that my arms are getting tired from being up here. So you can imagine what it must have been like for Michelangelo to have to reach all the way up and paint upside down and make a beautiful masterpiece. So let's see. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to switch colors. This is one of the hard parts because I can't see everything over next to me, so I have to pick them all up and hold them up. Let's see. I'm going to work on her hair first. So I'm going to start out with a light brown color. Her hair is really dark colored, but I'm still going to start out with a light color first just to kind of create a nice base for it. this on her eyebrows too. And I'm just going to go into a dark brown now. I won't use it all over so we can let that light color show through too. some black for the really dark parts of her hair. Get some really dark shadows. And we'll use this on her eyes too because I think she needs some pretty makeup here. She has brown eyes. I don't know for sure, but we'll make them brown. There, that's nice. Okay. Now, let's see. She has kind of a darker skin tone. This marker doesn't work very well. That's okay. I'll make some nice kind of faded effects. She was a sassy lady. There we go. Now for her shirt, got some green. Start out with. Give her a pinkish background. Well, partially. Let's see. She did a lot of with plants, so I'm going to draw some plants in here.
There, that's fun. Get some shading on these. Yeah, that's looking fun. I'm gonna add just a little bit more color to her skin. And some more shading under here. Alright, one more little thing, get kind of a better outline of her here. Alright, so Remember that this project is more about the experience of drawing upside down like this than it is about getting something that looks really, really pretty. But even if you make something really cool, that's awesome. So today has definitely been something really different and really interesting. I hope you have a lot of fun trying something new today. Think about who is an artist in your life and have fun creating today.